One of the cool features that has been added to Safeguard 2.4 is the use of custom platforms. Custom platforms provide a way to pretty much include each and every systems on the market into Safeguard for, for password and session management by linking a script who is really doing the management on that custom platform for you because it may not be supported by Safeguard out of the box. So usually if you create an asset that is not supported during the normal standard way and you go to management, you will see all the supported systems for Safeguard, but there is no possibility to select something different. To work around this, you have to go to the settings page and you go to asset management and select custom platforms. And with custom platforms now here in the settings page, you can configure your custom platform like this one or whatever nice name you give it and a version 1.0. You have to look up the administration guide to see what really belongs to this one. And, but the important thing here is about platform script. And platform script now wants, of course, a script that is executed by Safeguard uh, to, call, to do all the required actions to do management of passwords or sessions. And you don't have it at the current moment here. Okay, let's step back for the, on this for a second and let's have a look on the One Identity GitHub repository available in the internet. So if you go for github.com One Identity, you're going to see lots of open source projects that's going on here. So like PowerShell scripts, Bash scripts that you can be used for uh, integration into programs like uh, Java support, whoa, and so on and so on. And you have something that is called Safeguard Custom Platform. And that's the one we are looking for. And Safeguard Custom Platform gives you some sample scripts you can try, you can download and start working with that and see how all this system works. And the only one that's currently available uh, as time of doing this video is something about Linux. With 2.4 and 2.5 as well, the only supported target system is about SSH-based custom platforms. So if you have something different, some different protocol, you need to talk to your custom services to make it uh, integrated into Safeguard. There is currently no support for this that may be added in a later version or maybe you're going to develop your own system or your own custom platform connector uh, as you may want. So you just need to include that JSON script here into the dialog box. So the easiest way to do is go to the custom platform, download a zip file and unpack it so that you have the example script available. Going back to my custom platform definition, I just click to the, here and go to my browser. Uh, here it is. This is my sample script and here it is. And once you have defined this, it will show up in the list of your custom platforms. And if you now go back to the assets and create an asset, go to the management, you now can select it from the list with the name you gave it in the definition of your custom platform. And now you can enter all the required information and then you can, can define the asset in the usual way and you, then you can start to define all your accounts and access request policies, entitlements and all the stuff you need to make safeguard being able to manage that asset and the accounts living on it and then you can just use it and use it in the same way as it has been done before with the officially supported platforms.